All right. So here's the no good light bulb. And this socket here works. So we see the light in there is working. So take that out, put this one in. No light. So I wonder what the point of failure on this LED light bulb was. My first thought was to try and open this light bulb using just a, uh, like a Dremel tool, rotary tool, and a cutting disc, but I thought I might try mounting it in this wood lathe. I have it here in a, a block. It's running fairly true, not wobbling. I just, there's a hole in here and I held it in place with some uh, hot glue. So I'm going to try opening it with this as the cutting tool. I might not cut all the way through. I might leave it so I can just carefully break it open with an X-Acto knife or, or something. Uh, we'll see. Well, it looks like the back of this, this part came off very well, but looks like this is all metal under this plastic. So eh, it's probably best to do that with a cutting wheel. Well, I got the top off and uh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Got some ICs, there's a resistor capacitors. Uh, I believe these are wired in series, these LEDs. I'm not completely sure about that, but it looks like I might be able to get this board out if I go after, if I uh, remove this silicone stuff here, and then maybe there's something down in here that's an obvious point of failure. All right, here's a quick little update. I cut open the base that's actually made of aluminum and all that's in here are two wires one runs from you know one uh, part of the ac and one from the other it's a red and a green and they come into these two little uh interesting clips right here they're not soldered in so that's that was convenient and i looked up the parts this thing here is a rectifier this thing here is some sort of controller for, well, LED light bulbs. I think it allows you to dim it or something like that if you have a dimmer switch. And there's like a, uh, this is, I think, right off of the red wire here, which is coming in. It's half of the, uh, you know, one of the two wires that gives you the 120 volts goes through this resistor. It's like a 10 ohm, but it's a fairly chunky looking resistor. So I guess it's there to prevent dead shorts if something else in here gives out and checking the voltage drops uh, as you can see there's a little bit of life life in this or light and it kind of flickers uh, if you check the voltage drops around here for each of these leds while it's running i mean right now it's it's plugged in you get you know 8 to 12 volts but if this one here with the little black dot next to it that has 66 so to me, that doesn't seem right. It seems like something is, is wrong with that one. So I'm guessing the problem is likely that, um, that LED right there. So I don't know if I'll try to just knock it off and put a glob of solder there or, or what. you can see right here, that's where the LED was. I uh, tried desoldering it, that didn't work. I flicked it off with an X-Acto knife. It went flying, hit the ceiling, and I, I found it. I can't really see what's wrong with it. But uh, I just bridged the two sides of the, uh, the two contacts there with a glob of solder. And um, 
seems to be working. Well, here we go. Let me see if I can put this cover on. Oh, okay, thank God, that's much better. Yeah, I'm, heck, I might even be able to use this. Um, okay, good enough. So, there it is with the uh, covering over it, and it doesn't look so horrible now. Uh, before it was really bright, it's a little more diffuse. But um, I would guess, you know, an interesting question would be how long would it last now? Is another LED going to fail, especially since the same amount of voltage is divided among a smaller number of them? Now it's seven as opposed to eight. But, yep, so here we are. Uh, good as new. You can hardly tell anything was done to it, right? But... And I'll screw this one in here. Okay. I can't say I'd recommend leaving this thing on and, uh, you know, not, not being around. I don't know how much I'd trust it. But, um, you know, I guess we'll see how long it lasts.